As applications grow in functionality and data sets continue to increase in size and complexity, the bridge between enterprise storage and compute power comes under even greater pressure, both in terms of bandwidth and throughput. The connection between external storage and the CPU and the GPU compute resources within a server is handled by the Network Interface Card, or NIC. Traditionally, although the NIC would govern the speed at which data can be transferred between server and external storage, the CPU operating system and system memory would be required to determine what processing was required and so latency would be introduced due to these extra stages. For speeds above 10 gigabits per second, the concept of network card offloading was developed to allow more of this processing to be done on the NIC rather than involving the CPU, OS and memory. This offloading is termed RDMA, standing for Remote Direct Memory Access, allowing direct access from the memory of one computer into that of another without involving either one's operating system. This allows high throughput, low latency networking, which is especially useful in massively parallel computer clusters for tasks like advanced visualization, big data analytics, deep learning and AI. RDMA was developed for InfiniBand NICs, the networking protocol choice of the majority of high performance compute servers, as it delivered higher bandwidth speeds than traditional Ethernet. However, more recently, Ethernet has evolved to match the InfiniBand speeds with Rocky. Rocky standing for RDMA over converged Ethernet, which is being developed to allow the same offloading capabilities whilst using Ethernet protocols for network connectivity. Rocky functions by encapsulating an InfiniBand transport packet over a physical Ethernet connection, meaning the low latencies and high bandwidth of InfiniBand can now be enjoyed without having to change all your networking infrastructure hardware to InfiniBand. There are even NICs in development that embed a GPU alongside a data processing unit known as the DPU to facilitate all the data transfer and parallel compute resource to occur without engaging any other resource in the server and in turn reducing latency and bottlenecks even further for the most demanding workflows and applications. I hope that you found this video helpful. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel to ensure you don't miss out on our videos about these new cards as they become available. We've also made a dedicated video explaining the difference between NICs, smart NICs and DPUs, so make sure you check that one out.